Hey Denver, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock here. We're coming to you from Mount Bello Recreation Center where we just made a very exciting announcement. I'm joined by Christelle who's going to ask me a question on Friday Mail with the Mayor. So we're going to come back to her in just a moment. Let us talk about the exciting week we just had in Denver. First and foremost, Denver received the Platinum uh, Certification from the United States Green Building Council. What an exciting uh, uh, you know, accomplishment on behalf of the people of Denver for our role and our work around sustainability. I'm so proud of everyone, our Office of Sustainability, our De Denver Department of uh, Public Health and Environment, all the work that we're doing to make uh, Denver a more sustainable city and pushing back and dealing with the issues of climate change. I want to thank all the stakeholders, but that is a tremendous accomplishment. accomplishment. I don't know if you know it, but less than 10 cities in the United States have LEED Platinum Certification when it comes to sustainability. Congratulations to all of you in Denver for continuing to do the things necessary to be a more sustainable city. Secondly, we also learned from U.S. News and World Report that we were just edged out by a little bit by the great city of Austin and my good friend Steve Adler, who's the mayor down there, to be named the second best city in America. Congratulations to all of Denver. It just says that the direction we're going as a city, addressing our challenges, but also thriving as a city and being a desirable city is absolutely going in the right direction. So I want to congratulate all of you as well on that uh, as we go forward. So why are we here at the Mount Bello Rec Center? Well, we just made an exciting announcement in partnership with uh, our state attorney general, Phil Weiser, with uh, Dr. Cog, the Denver Regional Council of Governments, our Commission on Asia, in our Office of Aging in Denver, we launched Denver Connect. It is a mobile uh, program, service delivery program for our older adults in Denver, Colorado. Our older adults, our population of older adults is growing in Denver. We are seeing them needing more services. And so our, our Denver Connect mobile van is our way of connecting those services to our older adults where they are. And so this mobile van will be moving around the city of Denver bringing necessary information and necessary services to our older adults so they can connect. We're trying to combat isolation, trying to combat uh, uh, mental and physical um, uh, uh, lack of activity and, and making sure that our older adults know that they are included and that they're worthy and that they matter in our communities. And so Denver Connect is coming to a neighborhood near you so that you can connect to services as an older adult in Denver. I'm so excited about this program. Take a look uh, on our website uh, and see what this will mean for you in your neighborhood very soon. Congratulations to everyone who's been involved. We're very, very excited to be a partner. Now, Chris Dow. Yes. Good morning to you. Good morning. You have a question you want me to answer. Yes, so with Denver expanding and growing, what resources do you have in place for my generation, the Millennials, yeah. so that we may be supported in Denver? Well, thank you, Cristal. And Cristal shared with me that she is a Denver native, uh, has lived here all of her life, and uh, is working for the Department of uh, Public Parks and, and, and Recreation here at the Mount Bello Rec Center. And so I'm excited to have her here. I got to tell you, Cristal, Cristal, what we understand is that uh, in talking with millennials, they want to live in a city where they can earn a livable wage. Right. And so we must keep consistent and remain aggressive on the attraction of of uh, good jobs, good paying jobs in the Denver. So right. it's been, as mayor, I spent a lot of time attracting new opportunities in Denver. There is the attrition. Some companies go, some, 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 some companies come. And so we got to make sure that we're always constantly working to attract companies in Denver so that you have right. uh, livable wage opportunities in the city as well as in your own neighborhood as you choose. Secondly, mobility options are critically important. If you want to know where poverty exists, tell me where they have the least number of options around mobility. And what we know about our millennials, as I've talked to them, they want options. They want to be able to bike mm -hmm. safely. They want to be able to walk safely. They want to use transit safely and affordably <laughs> and conveniently and reliably. Uh, and they also want to have the options of cars. And they don't necessarily want to own a car uh, all the time, but having those options in which they jump in an automobile to be able to move about the city is important. Great cities have great mobility options. And that's what we're driving toward in the city of Denver. Obviously, access to attainable housing. Uh, just like you, my children are, are millennials, and they talk to me about the cost of living in Denver. And so we're working to do everything we can to produce as many attainable, affordable housing uh, units in Denver as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. We want you to stay in Denver. We want you to live comfortably in Denver, not feel overburdened mm -hmm. with the cost of rents and mortgages as we are seeing in the economy today. And just know that your city, in, with, in partnership with many people, are working to address the, the cost of living of housing in the city of Denver. And then finally, it's about a safe city. You know, right. I don't care what we do, 
If you don't feel safe in Denver, you're not going to stay in Denver. Correct. Today, our city is the seventh safest city in the country, even in the midst of our growth. And that says a lot, right? And and so we want to maintain. We want to do better than that. We want to be one of. The, we want to be safer than that. Uh, so we're going to continue to work to get more officers on the street, but also be more proactive in our policing uh, matrix. And that's what we've done. Is really. Uh, we've increased our proactive policing in Denver, given our officers a chance to do things in their community that allows for greater familiarity and relationship with the community, but also be proactive in how they patrol their community. Okay? Well, thank you. Does that help? Yes, it does. Thank all you right, so Christelle, much. thank you for asking the question. Absolutely. That's all the time we have for this Friday Mail with the Mayor. Probably a little longer than we normally do, but I'm glad Christelle was here and uh, wanted to sit down and ask her a question. We'll see you next week. You all have a great weekend. It should be much warmer than it is right now. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.